in our quads and really working on pulling our legs free from half guard from a tight lockdown. We can do it head and arm here with our head over his left shoulder and squeeze it tight here. Or we can go double underhooks, which is becoming very popular. A lot of the Brazilians are going double underhooks. I never went double underhooks, but I see the power of it. Denny went double underhooks on me in this half guard position before, and I was stuck for a while. It's hard to get a Jaws of Life when you go double underhooks here and put your head down on the mat here. It's hard for him to reach around and push off on your face or your neck. From here, if you stay tight, you're good. But if you can get in right here, that causes a lot of disruption in the pass. So we're going to work on passing from half guard in the lockdown, double underhooks, head on the mat, guy on the bottom. You're going to resist like 90%. The guy on top to get a good workout in a bunch of different ways. One way is you got to be strong using your free foot to open up his legs. That's got to be strong as hell. Then we're going we're gonna to pull out our knee and then slam it to the ground. At this point, if he's resisting properly, he should have me in quarter guard. See how I, I, I slammed it to the ground, I pulled it off, and slammed him on my side. I'm not on this side. Pretending that I still have the double underhooks. I'm just going over what the leg should look like. Then, for a quarter guard, there should be a battle, and you have to be strong here. If you're not strong here with this back kick and opening this up and maintaining control, you're going to get stuck in quarter guard, and that gives him gas. In quarter guard, he can start working deep half. Alright, so we're working out our hips, quads, legs, butterflies, double underhooks here. He's going to pretend like he's resisting 90%, but he's really going to be resisting like 2%, okay? And he hurts. So, over long, snap down, and then for a quarter guard, there should still be a battle here, and then we're past. Complete domination here. We set him down. You didn't give him shit. And then we're going to turn the twist aside. And now, guillotine set up up to this point. I haven't been really good at guillotines in my whole jujitsu career. Um, I suck at it. But Danny, Danny's really good at guillotines and he kept preaching this grip here instead of just a traditional grip here. All the guys oh, uh, at, at uh, Caesars are doing it this way. Jake, uh, David Terrell, apparently that's right here. Um, Darren up there, he's also using this grip. So, from here, this is what I'm, this is how I'm nailing it. I haven't really gotten any guillotines from the full guard here, like the traditional way, here, maybe two or three in my own life. But, from side control, I'm nailing it. And this is what I'm doing. After we, we pass, we're going to turn into a side control. He's going to turn on his side, with the underhook in. Just like this. I'm going to grab his head. So for 
me, with this particular setup, I think it's better to come in this way here. As soon as I have the grip, and I step, oh, I'm sorry, and I step over to the mountain, to right here, or even the other legs here, this is the neck twist. Let's go. 